All right, so today's video isn't gonna be about fishing, but instead, it's gonna be about me starting a waxworm farm so we can stop paying for baits. I also just realized I forgot one thing. All right, so I got the, the three things that I needed. Honey, oatmeal, and bran. We don't need the raisins, I'm gonna have to take those out. And wax worms, and the box. So now, what you wanna do is first wanna get all this, these nice oats in here. These nice oats. All right. All right, so now you want to get this bran out and then crunch it up with your hands and put it in there. I'll show you how to do it in a bit. All right, so you got your bran. You can just crunch it up and sprinkle it in. You're going to want to do this a lot of times. I think I might grab a smaller box in a bit. So after you've done all that, you want to take your honey and just, just put it around. Because this is kind of like a, their water source. And I forgot to mention why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because bluegills, uh, tiny bass, maybe crappies if you're lucky, love uh, waxworms. And by doing this, I won't have to purchase any more waxworms when I go fishing. So yeah, that's why I'm doing this. And you can see some of them are already starting to cocoon. Like those dark ones right there. They're already in their cocoon. So yeah, now we just gotta mix up the honey in there for a little a while, and then we're gonna be able to put these guys in. So you wanna keep mixing it up until it gets all like clumpy, like how you see it is now. And then that's when you wanna put in your wax worms. So I'm gonna put those guys in in a bit after I wash my hands. So yeah, after you've done that, you can just throw the sawdust in there because you know that's where they come in. So you see that they they just like eat the food, the oats and the the bran and they use the honey for as like a water source and then they're gonna be turning into moths and the moths are gonna start laying eggs and it's the whole cycle and I'll, I'll just be able to have wax worms anytime I go fishing forgot to mention you gotta have a top so when they turn into moths they don't fly out but you gotta make sure you have enough holes for them to, ble to breathe you see that they got holes they got enough space for them for when they become in moths they can fly around it's gonna be great I'm gonna do uh, weekly updates or something there's gonna be updates I can tell you that Alright, uh, see you guys next time.